Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Tableau Basics. We're on the sixth lesson of seven lessons on the basics of Tableau. In the previous five lessons, we cover connecting to data, basic chart types, dashboards, filtering, and I introduced the concept of mapping or geo spatial analytics if you want to call it that uh, and today we'll be covering formatting which is a little bit of not as exciting a type topic but it really differentiates a good dashboard visualization from a great one so let's get started so everyone should have something similar to this if they've done their previous five lessons so what we're gonna do here first is we're gonna go sales versus profit and then we're just gonna change this chart briefly we're gonna change it from marks our automatic to circles and then as well we're gonna add some color to the circles and then what I like to do is I just like to increase the size of the circle it just makes it seem like it's a little bit more meaningful the information is a little bit more important and then as well we're gonna add sales here just so that people can have a sense of what the sales are and it, you know it's not gonna show every single one uh, and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna format the sales we're gonna go Actually, we're gonna we're gonna format it here, and then I'm gonna show you how to format it. So you want to click on the drop down, click format. On the left hand side, it's gonna change, and you're gonna change it to currency, and we're just gonna change it here. But we could also have changed it here, on the and change the default property to to numeric. That's good. So what we're gonna do here is whenever I have a bar chart, I always like to add borders. I'm a big borders fan, and then the problem is if we add sales here is that it's going to fill in every single one which is in which is maybe maybe what you want to see and maybe not what i like to see is I actually like to add a reference line this is a little bit of a secret and then i like to go to total i like to go on a per cell basis and then label the value so if we show here you'll see here and then i like to have line none press ok and then we'll change the view to fit width. And you'll see it's left adjacent. So we'll right click it, format it. We'll fix the alignment so it is center. And then I'm gonna change the sales default property to currency custom with no decimal places. It's good, good. So we are gonna not change too many things here. We're gonna go color. With line charts, there's there's opportunities to change the marker. So we're gonna add a marker here so that you can see every single one. And then there's a couple options here. We could increase the line width if you wanted to, make it a little bit more substantial. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add profit, but I'm gonna change it up a bit. And so I'm gonna first format profit. And then what I'm gonna do here, is instead of showing all, I'm gonna show max min. So basically I'm going to see what, what month had the highest and what month had the lowest. I can also change it on a, on a per cell basis or um, per line basis. So what you'll see here is now I can see what the highest and lowest are per month, per, per order priority by month, which provides some like interesting context. So really a good opportunity to take advantage of these different labelings. Uh, so it's good and then what you'll see here is now your labeling's a little bit better and a little bit more substantial you can also edit the axis so for example here I want to make it really clear that it's uh, so we click on we right click and we change axis I'm gonna just add bold to my axis axes just so it's a little bit clearer so you want to make sure you're on axis and I'm gonna change it here as well. You can also change like how your axis is viewed by changing the labels and what, what the range is. So for example, the problem is, is when I click here, it changes the range down here as well. So maybe I wanna fix the range here. So if I wanna fix the axis, uh, I can just click on fix and that way, when I change it, it still shows the relative balances. Sometimes you want to zoom in, sometimes you don't, but it is good to see uh, in, in that manner. So that's quick formatting. 
Here you can also quickly format. So we can add, again, borders. I'm a big fan of borders. We can also add in state names. So you can, now you can see the various states. And we can as well add in sales here. Oh no, so in this case we're showing profitability. And then I'm gonna change the default of profit to the same concept. Oh, okay, that's the color. Default property of format, change it to. But maybe I wanna know what the sales are without actually showing it as a label. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take advantage of tooltips. So when I hover, when I drag sales to tooltips, and what tooltips are is it shows the, it allows you to add values hovering over it without actually seeing it in the, the visualization. So really handy, really interesting. Uh, we'll leave this one as is. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few more things. I'm gonna show you reference lines. So for example, here, I, add, I did add a reference line to, uh, to the bar chart, but that's not really what the reference line is for. So maybe I wanna see what the average value is uh, or average profitability per cell and I want to see so there's if I were to apply that what you'll see here is it shows that the average actually let's do it per pane and then what I'm gonna see here is I'm gonna instead of saying computation I'm gonna put I'm gonna add it as custom and I call it average profit colon and then change it add a value so there and then I'm gonna add in a red line make it red line and then as well I'm gonna fill a fill below with this red because I'm a little bit concerned about these ones in red so really quick and easy way of using reference lines to you can also not necessarily make it average you can make it any arbitrary like amount if you want so you can go edit reference line you can make it total you can make it a constant you can make min max etc so but I find averages are like a good reference point in general so that's formatting for you there's a couple like different options obviously you can increase the size of the text if you want it you can I'm gonna center these charts and one other thing is if a chart is in a dashboard already you can also right click hide the chart hide the sheet Oh. But what you'll see is these charts aren't in dashboards, so you can't hide them. So really updated view, some quick formatting, some really nice visualizations over here. You can also add in like a title here for like filters, make it bold, make it 12, make it center. So that way people know that these are filters. So quick and easy way of formatting your dashboards and your visualizations to really add in some great context. Thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.